Hi, Tom Guster again. It's another tip for you guys out there. Did a lot of big water trolling when I fished, and still do. When I'm guiding and on the Bay of Quinney, or you know, you guys that are out steelhead fishing or salmon fishing on the Great Lakes, probably end up using uh, Power Pro or Spider Wire type line, the no stretch line, particularly for dipsy divers and. Uh, really long uh, trolling leads, like if you're running 250, 300 back with crankbaits to get them to get them way down deep. And by the way, this line will get you a lot deeper because uh, it's thinner diameter, less water resistance than mono of the same weight. And that's an aside note. Um, inevitably, uh, you'll you'll run into using this with planer boards for uh, getting some line spread. Um, one thing I discovered really quickly with the standard red clips is that red clips are good for everyday use and they're quick and easy. But you'll get a little bit of slippage with this line. It's extremely thin and extremely slick and it does a lot of damage to the rubber pads eventually in the planer boards and they wear out. So there's a couple other types of clips on the market. This is a church tackle board and this has an adjustable clip and these clips can be tightened down with this screw on the top here and they're far less susceptible to slippage. Quite strong. Um, the other alternative is the snapper clip which has an added advantage. They're also adjustable, have a screw adjustment on the top, actually on the bottom on these. They also have the advantage if you clip them forward they have a little post in there that prevents the line from coming free even if the board does happen to slide if the clip gets wore from the line. So uh, there's a couple of different options for you for clips for planer boards. Try them out. Thanks for listening.